Now, to all the viewers who watch my channel, you know that your good friend Tim Pool is mixed race, and boy does he talk about it. So I'm not going to get in too hardcore on how I think things should be in related to race, but I have this story from the Sacramento Bee which I found to be very interesting as it pertains to the culture war and racism in this country and in the West. This story from the Sacramento Bee says, white people prefer white people on dating apps, but that could be changed, study says. Now, what's interesting about this is, yes, we know that people prefer dating within their race. It's not absolute. You know, some people like, you know, other things. The fact that I exist is a good example that at some point, one person said, I would prefer to be with a person of a different race. If that's what you want to do, hey, I'm, I think that's great. I'm certainly supportive of my existence, right? But what's interesting is that they say, that could be changed. Should it be changed? I don't know. I think it's weird. There's a study suggesting white people should be changed, right? White people should be made to not prefer white people. That to me is worrisome and silly. I don't care who you want to date. I don't care who you want to hook up with. If you're white, if you're Asian, Latino, black, whatever, and you want to hook up with anybody else, by all means, you should have the freedom to do it. We fought a long, hard battle in this country to ensure that people had a right to be with who they loved. Miscegenation laws were, were uh, in place until like the late 60s. Like these, there, were, there were literally laws in this country saying people of different races could not cohabitate. Like you literally couldn't live with each other, let alone have a family. It was illegal. And that, that's crazy. I feel like most people, even conservatives, and, it's like, you know, I, and I'm saying conservatives because the left has this idea that conservatives are somehow like extremely racist. No, there are certainly racist people on every political faction. But everybody today, I'd imagine, like the mainstream Americans would be like, yeah, yeah, man, do you do you, you know, marry who you want to marry. Now you've got the identitarians. You've got the far left that are actively talking about white people being bad. And you have the alt-right actively trying, you know, they're, they're actively encouraging people to have more white babies. There is your identitarian, you know, fringes. But this is just not good <laughs> because it's things like this that are going to rile up the alt-right. But that could be changed, study says. It could be. I don't know if they're saying it should be. Let's see what they say. Dating applications can allow users to fall into their own racial biases while searching for a partner, a new study says. Let me just point out, when I go on dating apps, I know what kind of women I'm attracted to. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not going through there and being like, hey, it's only one race. No, I'm like, there is a certain appearance, a certain style, a certain type of person I'm more attracted to than not. Like, full disclosure, you can tell by the way, I, actually, this is not true for me, this is true for everybody. You can tell, usually, by the way someone dresses, who they'll be attracted to. Someone who dresses in a similar way. Like, I'm more likely to want to date somebody who is going to wear jeans and, like, a flannel than a woman wearing, like, a fancy dress with high heels. Not really my type. Right? People have types. There's something they're attracted to, okay? In their study... Researchers from schools like Cornell University say the sexual racism that plagues apps like Grindr, Tinder, and Bumble can be stamped out with a few simple changes. The end goal, the study says, is to promote more diverse pairings on the day on dating sites. This is weird. <laughs> this is so weird. What, what's the point? Why is sexual racism? That's what they're calling it. This is freaky to me. This is freaky to me. Like... I'm a mixed race person, as I've stated. I know many people who are. That's cool and fine, if that's your thing. Okay, when it comes to sexual preference, we're supposed to allow people to like who they like, and that, right? Why are we now saying that we should be engineering the, the results of dating? This would only mean to suggest that like, they want to encourage white people to, to uh, pair bond with non-white people. But why does it matter? People should be able to love whoever they want. Why? How? What's happening? <laughs> this is so weird. Jevin uh, Houston, H Hudson, lead author of the study, said in a press release from Cornell University that it's really an under-precedented time for dating and meeting online, which requires a more thorough look at how we can prevent discrimination on these dating apps. More people are using these apps and their critical infrastructures and there are critical infrastructures that don't get a lot of attention when it comes to bias and discrimination. He said that in a press release. Intimacy is, is very private, and rightly so. But our private lives have impacts on larger socioeconomic patterns that are systemic. So just how does this racial bias play out for the estimated 15% of adults who use the dating apps? 
Take the case of Sinekon Kiyodara, for example. He threatened to sue Grindr, a dating app, for gay, bi, and trans men because of sexual racism he faced on the site, NBC reported. More specifically, Kiyodara says some users on the site had captions like, non, not interested in Asians. This is getting crazy to me. This is getting absolutely crazy to me. Remember when we used to say that someone's sexual preference was their private, personal thing and we shouldn't force anything upon anybody? Think about this. I'm not going to do the slippery slope thing. I'm not going to argue that this is in any way the same necessarily, but think about a similar circumstance where someone said, hey, I'm looking to date people not interested in guys. Me, personally, I'm not interested in guys. Does that make me trans or homophobic? Apparently it does, and I'm not exaggerating. There is a sect of people that would argue. Right? I talked about this the other day. On, I did the video uh, about how there's an internal civil war within feminism because you have trans-inclusionary and trans-exclusionary. You actually have uh, trans people telling lesbians if they don't sleep with male people, bi biological males, then they are transphobic. Now you have people suing, saying that someone listing a, a, a racial preference is sexual racism. So F Fumlani Congo from Johannesburg, South, Car South, from Johannesburg, South Africa, said in an interview with N NBC that the racism is prevalent in his country too. What happens in Los Angeles, where you have no fats, no femmes, it happens in South Africa as well. They will say no rice, no chocolate, no curry, which means no Asian, no black, and no Indian. As noted by the study, which compiled data from prior research, white people are 10 times more likely to receive a message from a black person on a dating app than they are to message the black user themselves. That suggests a hierarchy of attention on racial lines. The study found other examples of inequality in dating apps, including... Asian men and black women have the lowest chance of receiving a message or a response. White people of all ages prefer to go on dates with other white people. College students are most likely to avoid going on dates with black women. Let's just point this out. In a time when everyone is arguing that college students are the you know, anti-racist SJWs, the data from this story says college students are the most likely to avoid going on dates with black women. Stephanie Yoboa, a blogger, said that she has experienced racism as a black woman on online dating apps, even when people are open to meeting up, according to The Independent. She said that some people ask offensive questions like if they can get a taste of jungle fever and they want to see if black women are as aggressive in bed as they're heard. It's, it's strange to me that, like, listen, I think racism is bad for sure, but there's a limit. There's a pendulum. We don't want it to swing too far. If someone has a sexual preference... I'm, I'm going to back away. Some people only want to hook up with amputees, right? I'm not kidding. Some people only want to hook up with other people who dress like cartoon animals. Dead serious. Are, like, what if some, like, to, to what extent are we allowed to have a preference in dating? And this is what I talk about when I say the more we try to protect people, the more we take protections away. We used to say what you choose in, 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 in terms of your private, you know, sexual business, it's your business. Now lawsuits are happening and a study is arguing that they can make white people not want to date each other as much. They want to make white people date other people. To me, it's just getting weird when you're digging into the, like, I feel like there'll come a time when we're actually going to tell a computer to make sure everything must be equal. That means when it comes to pair bonding, you like you're going to have like a skinny, you know, five foot five white dude paired up with like a six foot three Asian furry and they're both going to be unhappy. But that's equality. You shouldn't discriminate against them. No, look, there are certain things that certain people like and people choose their partner. It's it's wow. This kind of stuff freaks me out. Totally freaks me out. Comments such as these are extremely dehumanizing to myself and other black women who are only looking for companionship, she told The Independent. It seems to suggest that black women are only good for one thing and cites back to previous ideologies of black people being compared to primates as primal and feral hypersexualized creature. It's very hurtful. Even Christian Rudder, founder of, founder of OkCupid, said, when you're looking at how two American strangers behave in a romantic context, race is the ultimate confounding factor. That is amazing. But researchers behind the Cornell University study say they have ways to push back against the racial biases of users. South Park made an episode where in the future everyone was the same race because of race mixing. I don't care if that's the future. I, that, I agree with South Park's assessment. Like the future is probably going to be extremely mixed. A lot of people have said that's not the case because people choose to, you know, pair bond with people who are the same race as them. 
but I don't necessarily think it's the case. Because when you look at OkCupid's data, you can see that Asian women and white women get the most responses from everyone. From everyone. That means if a Latino man hits up a white woman, there's a high chance that, or I'm sorry, if a white woman hits up a Latino man, there's a high chance that there's something will happen there. So ultimately what it really says is that this study, I think, here's my, here's my assessment. White women are going to shape the future depending on who they choose because they are the most sought after race and gender. It is white women. Therefore, they have the ultimate choice. Well, I believe we will have a mixed race future. I could care less one way or the other. This to me though, is more of the far left identitarianism. This is, when I see this, I see something as extreme as the alt-right and it's crazy to me. Let people choose who they want to love instead of telling people that what they're choosing is racial, is sexual racism and they must change. I, I gotta say, this is uh, gonna feed into a lot of alt-right paranoia for sure. And this is only from, this is from, uh, you know, like a couple weeks, uh, two weeks ago about. They're actually arguing that because people want to be with people like them, it's racist. I guess technically it is. It is a racial preference. But is it negative discrimination saying you don't want to hook up with somebody? Man, this stuff's getting so weird and complicated. Tell you what, you guys comment and let me know what you think. Coming from a mixed race person himself for the 893rd time I've said it ever on my channels, this stuff freaks me out. Let people choose who they love. Don't try and engineer dating apps to make people choose people. That's just weird. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I got another video coming up.